Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a product updates video and the first thing I wanted to mention was actually something that I don't have anymore. It is the baby foot and I got mine off of eBay for a really good price and that is where you soak your foot into this plastic booty filled with solution and it's supposed to slough off dead skin and boy that it did. I did it about I think a couple months ago and I'm still losing some skin to this day so I would recommend if you're gonna do this to do it um, near the end of winter beginning of spring so that by spring really nice spring weather because we've been having 80 90 degree weather recently uh, that you'll be ready in time to show off those beautiful feet because you don't want you want to wear socks at all times when this is happening to you so um, it really works and I wanted to mention that and I didn't keep the booty because I didn't want to it was just a plastic booty so I wanted to mention that and the other thing is well you know what let me start off uh, so I have two cleansing uh, two makeup remover type products and this one is the aha milk cleansing so this is looks like a moisturizer but it's cut it's cold cream a little bit more liquidy and then this is the perfect gel which does the same thing and I wanted to mention this not only do I like this to remove my makeup but I was having trouble cleaning my mostly my foundation brushes and they were giving me a hard time because foundation would still stay in there so while I, I just made the connection and thought why not if I use it to clean my face up of my face of makeup why not try it on my makeup brushes and that's been helping me to get those really hard to uh, get out the foundation type brushes and I, I like the cold cream better than the gel uh, but yeah I've been loving using this for my face and to remove my uh, to help me clean my makeup brushes and then next we have this is the Shiseido uh, Nature Go cleanser and this is what I use as my morning uh, face cleanser and I really like this this I find that Asian cleansers tend to be just gentler and when it foams up it foams up just so nicely and it's soft and I really like this one I would definitely get it again if I didn't have a million cleansers to try and then this is the Tresemme renewal hair and scalp I got this at Walmart for clearance I really like this. this is kind of those mass treatments for your hair you leave it on for it says three to four minutes but I try to leave it on for a little bit longer and I really like the way that my hair feels when I get it again I'm not sure about that I do like Tresemme products but this is it's nice to have for now but I'm always looking for other things to try and then the last thing before we get on to uh, makeup and beauty things this is a Dr. Bronner soap I keep it in a plastic bag I should really get another thing for it but I have been loving using this to clean my makeup brushes which is nothing new because I did a video on cleaning my makeup brushes and I mentioned the Dr. Bronner's the you know the liquid soap I love using that to clean my makeup brushes this one is good because I can actually rub the brushes against it but this is perfect for washing the beauty blender it works really well and I would highly recommend and then, it for that uh, I forgot to mention this when I was talking about the Asian products this is the crazy or crazy I mentioned this in my empties this is the wrinkle essence cream extra rich and this is really really nice now it's heavy so it's perfect for nighttime I don't think this has a SPF Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I can't read anything on here, it's all, uh, except for the front. Uh, this is just, it's it's thick, but it's it's whipped, sort of, so it, you know, it feels nice on the skin. You feel it on your skin, but I also feel it working, and that's what's great for a nighttime, you know, cream product is it's going to work through the night, and then when you wake up, your face feels really nice, and this does that. I really, really like this, and the consistency okay, is Okay, next awesome. we have the Herbal Essences Dry Shampoo, and this is from the Body Envy line, and it has a citrus scent. I really, really love this, and I didn't know how much I loved it until I was going back and forth with the Dove Dry Shampoo, which I just showed in my empties. This is the product that I was talking about when I said that I found a product that I love so much more. This just makes your hair feel clean and really absorbs the greasiness and doesn't make me want to itch my hair, which is a major problem for me. I have a lot of oil buildup and my scalp gets really itchy. This really took care of that for me and I want to use this and I just really like it and would highly recommend it.
Okay, another hair product. This is a Chi Keratin Silk Infusion Complex. Another product that I am loving. This is really, really good. I actually noticed a change in my hair where it felt silky and soft and light, which is really rare because I have a lot of hair. I know that some people would love that, but for me, having thick hair is just a nuisance. So this made my hair feel really good. I like this a lot, and it's it's I like it. It's good. If you have hard to manage hair that is a really good product to try then we have sorry speaking of hair I'm trying a poof thing up here and it's I don't know it's a struggle okay here is the Revlon teasing brush which I forgot to mention in my I think a haul video this is the Revlon one and, and I really like that I wanted an actual teasing brush the one that I was using to tease my hair was this Con Air one and it's just it's not it doesn't definitely doesn't work the same as this. You need a brush like this to tease your hair and it does this is a this does a really good job and I like it a lot. And I don't tease my hair that often. Um and I use it mostly to just give me lift in the crown, which I don't know why I'm showing you that, but cuz I didn't tease my hair today at all. All right. Now, on to, oh, one more. You know what? Actually, Way to prepare for this video, Sam. Next up Paradise. are two rollerball perfumes, and that's just something I've been gravitating towards rollerballs. And the first here is the Burberry Brit Sheer, and this is just really nice for every day. Something that's not gonna be offensive or strong. This is just simple, fresh, and feminine, and I really like that one. I I really like Burberry scents. I think that's they just make really nice adult feminine sort of perfumes okay here is pacifica's brazilian mango grapefruit and this is nice but it this and i don't know if that's just something with rollerballs i just feel like they don't last as long as the ones that come in a bottle or i guess you can't put as much on you uh this is really nice smells like grapefruit but it doesn't last long enough so i don't know if i would get any more of these let me know if the ones in the bottles if they make them in bottles are last a little bit longer okay and i think we have left is makeup so let's get started i want to do nail polishes uh this is opi's you don't know jacques really nice uh taupey sort of color uh, not a musket, but really nice nonetheless. This is Lincoln Park After Dark. Love this. I understand why this is a cult favorite, and I am glad that I have it. It's a beautiful, deep brown, almost looks black, just beautiful. So I loving that. This has got to be probably my favorite one. This is Essie's Blossom Dandy, which I'm pretty sure you can still get. That's what I have on this nail awesome awesome color the swatches do not lie this one is really good also on this hand i have sc's you know what I, that blossom dandy fell in the garbage and i don't want to wait until the end to remember to get it because i probably won't this is uh sc's bride snow grooms and it's pretty but it was the formula was really hard to work with and i probably wouldn't get it again it's a nice pink but nothing that's so worthy of you know telling you to get again something that i want to talk about again this is the revlon transforming effects in holographic pearls i had said that it was okay but i have used this a couple of times uh, over nail polishes and it transforms nail polishes into something a little bit different fun and i would highly recommend this i like this as a top coat i think it really makes your nails look pretty and over white it looks beautiful so I changed my mind about that I I think I had said I wouldn't get it again but I would I'm glad that I got that uh, this is OPI's that's hilarious and this is a, another awesome uh, pop, like mint green but more on the limey side that makes sense right this is just an awesome color and I would recommend this as well if you can Next find it I think it's a beauty can. tool that I have been using and loving and you're probably all when you see this gonna be like duh it's a beauty blender and it's dirty because I did use it I 
cannot believe I'm keeping myself for waiting so long to get this I did use it to apply my makeup today and you don't just have to use this for foundation you can use it for a blush for bronzer I mean I'm talking about cream products so you can use it on dry products as well I don't like it that much for that but for foundation it's just makes your skin look amazing and I was a brush girl, always a brush girl to put on foundation, but this really, I really like using this. The only downside is to clean it after each use, but I have been doing that and I just am in love with it. This is really, really good and I highly recommend it. I would actually recommend that you get the, uh, the one that I got, which is the Benefit and Beauty Blender kit where you get two beauty blenders and a couple benefit stuff which I'll talk about in a second but this is just amazing makes your skin look just it has foundation on but it doesn't look cakey or like you have a ton of foundation on I really really like this and any beauty blender tips I would love to hear from you guys okay in that kit was this benefit professional and the Benetint uh, this one is Oh, I guess it's just the better tip. So, I actually do not like these two that much. This I did put on, but I also put a, another blush on top of it. I just don't like the consistency. It's really way too, way too wet for me. I'm glad I have the small size, uh, but it's just not my favorite. And then here, a professional. I had high hopes for this as well, but it doesn't... I still see my pores. Maybe I have overly large pores. I don't know. Everybody raves about this, but I'm so glad that I got these small size. I, I'm i not disappointed I got the kit because I like the Beauty Blender so much, but I wish these would have worked for me. They just did not. Okay, on to another uh, primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime, and it's the Blur and Smooth. I did use this today. I... I don't know I don't like it it's has the moisturizer feel again and at, this one is kind of reminds me of the wet n wild coverall and I like the wet n wild coverall one much better than this so if you're looking for a primer that's kind of like a moisturizer I would try the wet n wild one I think that one is so much better okay eyebrows I have this elf eyebrow kit and that is what I'm wearing and I feel like the color matches really well this is in medium I love this and I even like the little brush that comes with it this as you can tell I hit pan on it which actually I don't think there's that much product in there but it's still I hit pan on it I really like this and by far this is my favorite eyebrow product okay I have two of the Jordana uh, cat eyeliner I don't have eyeliner on today uh, but these two, I have the black, which is black brown, and then, did I just say I have the black, which is the black brown? I have the brown, which is the black brown, and then I have the black, which is black leather. And this this is a tip of it. Oh, and the product is in here. I always get confused. Really thin tip. So I would recommend this for people who have oily lids like me because this does last all day. The only thing is if you like a thick wing, it takes forever because the brush is so thin. I also recommend it for people who have trouble putting on eyeliner. A thin brush I think would be really helpful, less chance of mistakes. And like I said, these last all day. I just wish the brush was a little bit thicker. This is uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Rose Riot, and I have to say, I'm changing my mind about this. I was a little disappointed with the Maybelline Color Tattoo Spring Collection, but this, I have that on my lid, and this helps, well, the color tattoos, they really work on my oily lids, but this color is really nice to put something on top of it. It's pretty, so I am glad I got that, actually. Let's see her. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Color Lift Blushes. I've been hearing a lot more about these recently, and I'm glad because I got them when they first came out. I loved them, but I didn't really hear anybody else talking about them. But now I'm glad they're getting a little bit of recognition because they are amazing. This is the Rose Gold Lift, and I have that on my cheeks, cheekbones. And you can see that. I think I have a little too much here on this side, but it's beautiful. And then, so that's the Rose Gold Lift. And then this one is the Peach Gold Lift. 
they're just really, really pretty. I recommend all of them. I have, I think, five out of the six or five out of the seven. They're really, really good. And they're on the pricier side, but I think they're just amazing. So go Next out and check it out. Monty's Powder Blush in Tea Rose. I do have that on my cheeks today, and I think this color is gorgeous. I love these blushes that are in this rose shape. I have all three of them. Uh, Romantic Rose and Coral Cove, but this is just a beautiful blush for every day, like a baby soft pink. Milani does a good job with blushes. They're they're really good. Next up is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Toast to You. And I while I think it's still a bit too orangey, the more that I use it, the more that I like it. I do have that on as a contour. I don't think it looks terrible. I actually like it and um, I don't. I wouldn't repurchase it again. But I, next up is the nice. foundation that I'm wearing. This is the Dr. Hashka Foundation in Zero One. And when you saw this supply uh, in my Get Ready with Me, it's no coverage whatsoever. Uh, but it has a lot of good skincare benefits. So what I did today was I mixed it with the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. And this one is A45. And this sometimes can be drying. And I think that's what I'm going to do going forward is use this foundation. Because this has no coverage. But it has really, it makes your skin feel nice. Uh, with a dr more dry, drier foundation. I just have to work with the 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 ratio because I still need more coverage I think because you could see some of my hyperpigmentation but I I'm glad that I found a way to use this because this Next is not cheap. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I really love the packaging of this. Unfortunately I don't love the product as much and I think that's just because I'm not seeing what everybody else is seeing. I did have, I do have to say, I use this as a powder today, um, kind of mixing all of them and putting the lighter one under my eyes, and I do like that. So I'm glad that I could use it for all over my face, but I'm just not sure I'm seeing what I'm supposed to be seeing. If you have this, let me know how you use it, how you use each color, or if one thing, one color is better for something else, you know. And then my favorite lipstick by far and it probably when I do my 2015 beauty favorites these are definitely gonna be in there these are the Dorgana matte lipsticks modern matte lipsticks I have the one in this one is matte girl and it's just this purple pink color I absolutely love these they feel so moisturizing for okay let me not so moisturizing but they feel really good on the lips for matte lipstick and I went to Walgreens because that's where my Jordana products are sold and I I did see any co other colors I wanted but I hope they come out with more because I really like these these are just really amazing and I like the colors that I picked out here is matte style and then this is matte classy just amazing and if you want to see the it might get ready with me I tried all those three lipsticks on I have a couple more fantastic and they just feel so nice as well I don't hear a lot of people talking about them though so guys check them out if you like matte lipsticks but you don't like how drying it is on your lips like I can move my lips around and they feel really nice and they last a long time as well two lipsticks that I got that I'm not in love with uh, these are the L'Oreal Prolast uh, Invaluable Lipsticks and I love the colors but the application is really difficult I just cannot find a way to put these on my lips. The brush is uh, just a little bit hard to work with. Too long, I think, in my opinion. And it's like putting on paint and you have to be careful. You have to let it set before you even attempt to close your mouth together. Um, I just, I'm not going to get any more. I gonna try to work with these though because they're Next beautiful colors. Next is the Maybelline lipstick for their 100 year anniversary. This is an okay lipstick. It's the magenta, Magentabulous. I like it, but I'm not in love with it, and I'm not going to get any more from the collection. Well, lip, lip product-wise, anyway. This is okay. And the last product that I want to talk about is the Kat Von D Shade & Light Eye Contour Palette. Just like the contour palette, I really, really love this. I think the colors are beautiful and pigmented, and these eyeshadows last 
all day. I can't get over it and I definitely am becoming a Kat Von D fan. I, you know, I watched her show a couple times and I wasn't really a fan of her but her makeup is amazing and I definitely will be getting more of her products. Uh, but yeah, these are just fantastic and I've heard a couple of YouTube gurus not like this and I'm so shocked because I think this is amazing and maybe they know more than me but I really like this and I'm glad I like it because this is I think it's fantastic and if you were thinking about not getting it I think you should try the swatches in the store and you'll be amazed at how beautiful they are they're really really good and I love it I love it that it's matte it's beautiful and yeah Okay guys, so that is the end of my product update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there were tons of products, but what else is new? I try to cram as, as much as I can into these videos. And I have a few videos lined up. Let me know if there's anything specific that you would want to see from me. Review, tutorials, etc. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!